In this video, we are going to be graphing uh, linear equations from standard form, but instead of rewriting it in slope-intercept form, we're just going to use the intercepts method, where we're going to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, plot those two points, and graph the line. So to find the x-intercept, the x-intercept is the point that's on the x-axis, and the value of y is always 0. So all we do is we set y equal to 0 uh, for the x-axis. So we're going to get 5x plus 0 equals 5. So we get 5x equals 5. Divide both sides by 5. x equals 1. So what's the x-intercept? The x-intercept is this point 1, 0. So that's going to go right here. Okay. Then to find the, the y-intercept, we'll think about the y-axis. Every point on the y-axis, what's the value of x? The x-coordinate is 0, right? If you go up and down the uh, y-axis, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, go down. 0, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 0, negative 3, all those points. All right, so all we do is we set x equal to 0. So we're going to go 5 multiplied by 0 plus y equals 5. This becomes 0, so you get y equals 5. Now, what's the ordered pair? Be careful x is 0 and y is 5. So that's going to be this point right here. Okay. So now in delta math, to graph it, we just grab the points. So we take this point, we move it to that point was already there in this case. And then this one, we move it to right here. Boom. And submit it. And we got it right. Here's another one. 3x plus 5y equals 25. So let's find the x-intercept. We set y equal to 0. So we're going to go 3x plus 5 times 0 equals 25. So 3x equals 25. Divide both sides by 3. You're going to get x equals 25 thirds or what's that? 8 and 1 third or 8.3333. Okay. All right, that's, so that means our um, x-intercept is simply 8 and 1 third comma 0. Okay, so that's going to be so, it's going to be approximate here. You can't get exact. And delta math is going to give us a little wiggle room where we put that. All right, so now we've got to find the y-intercept. Find the y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to 0. So it's 3 times 0 plus 5y equals 25. So then we're going to get 5y equals 25, because 3 times 0 is 0. And then we divide both sides by 5, y equals 5. So again, when x is 0, y is 5 in this case. So that's this point, 0, 5. All right? So now we go ahead and in delta meth, you move those points. I want the y-intercept. I plot it, 0, 5. It happened to be there in this example. Again, and then 8 and 1 third, let's see what happens here. So I can't do it's a little bit 8 and a little bit more. I don't want to go half. And again, I believe delta math gives us a little wiggle room here. Let's find out. Yes, they do. There you go. That's all there is to it. So remember, x-intercept is when you set y equal to 0, right? y-intercept is when you set x equal to 0 every time. 